What's up everybody and welcome to South Jordan, Utah. Uh, as you can see, we are getting after it here at 4.30 today. And this was the first gym in Utah that we opened after the Orem Gym. And we made a decision to develop five more locations and create a West Coast headquarters. And that was really important for the organization because we were born and raised on the East Coast and Charlotte is our home. And as we expanded out West, we really wanted to show our commitment to this side of the country. And there is a, there's a beautiful little valley called Salt Lake City in Utah. And you know, from see Layton down to now St. George, which is basically all of Utah, we've got eight, we have eight gyms here now. And you know, I was thinking about just, you know, making the vlog for Salt Lake City and kind of what I wanted to say. And I think one of the things that came to my mind was how big of a dream this was for me at one point. And you know, I'd, I had the idea like two or three years before it even manifested or we could even afford to do it. And you know, when I came out to Orem and I just saw the magic there, Stephanie Knoop um, has put into that gym to really get it to where it's at, Chelsea Jacobson, um, Sadie is here too, yeah. We've had some just amazing people that made that gym one of the most successful gyms in the country. And that gave me the confidence in the team to really make that investment. And so we made the investment into five gyms and, and it was my dream and I wanted to have this West Coast headquarters that you know, could really you know, put us on the map, like I said. And you know, here's one thing that's true about dreams. You should chase them and you should go hard and fast at them, but they never ever work out like you want them to work out. Not everything has been perfect. Not everything has been ideal um, you know, through you know, some of the pandemic we were building these gyms when everybody else was kind of retracting, we were, we were still growing, you know, we believed in our people so much. And so, you know, so like there is no straight line from like having a dream or an idea then to getting there. It's not point A to point B necessarily in a, in a linear path. It's in like a weird zigzag roundabout, you know, oblong way that you actually get there. And we are getting there. Um, we are there now. Uh, the, our six gyms out here uh, that we own as HQ gyms are doing fantastic. And it took a long time for us as a team to really get everything together to the point where, you know, we were week over week, month over month, quarter over quarter, um, seeing that, that, that progression, you know, that hockey stick growth that all business owners want to see. And so my question for you is what is your dream and are you stopping yourself from potentially chasing it because of the unknown factors that come in the swirl, you know, the zigzag. And I think it's really motivating to say that, I think it's really motivating to hear from me that chasing your dreams never works out the way you want it to. You know, so trying to sit back and create this um, ideological, you know, perfect outcome is, is one thing, but the act of getting there, it's rough, it's dirty, it's, emotionally taxing, it's stressful, you know, being 2,000 miles away for me, you know, like this is my family out here and I'm, I live in Charlotte 2,000 miles away. Um, and is it 2,000 miles away? I don't know exactly how far is it. Hey, how far is it from, how far is it from mileage wise from Charlotte to Salt Lake? I said 2,000, I don't think that's true. Is it, is it pretty close? Okay, all right, okay, 2,000. So we have 2,000 miles away and it's like, you know, I care so deeply about the teams here. And so what I wanted to do is get out here before the year ended. I wanted to spend two days uh, with our teams here in the Salt Lake area and really just show them my appreciation, my gratitude, and, and shower them with love and positivity and strategy and ideas and vision and really try to understand each one of our individual team members' vision because at Burn, it's about people first. That's our first core value. And and a lot of companies, you know, as you walk the tightrope of, of culture and profit, you know, a lot of companies, you know, end up, end up um, navigating away from the culture side over time and go toward, you know, more of a profit heavy focus. Well, people first is our number one core value so that everyone in the organization knows exactly what we stand for, right? And I don't care if you like it or you dislike it, but that is who we are. We are going to put our people first. What that really means is putting their vision ahead of the vision of the company. Because when we can help our team members manifest their vision into reality, well then the company itself um, 
just becomes the vehicle for their growth, not the other way around. And that's to me what people first means. You know, the, the person isn't driving the vehicle to get the company to its, its goals. That's just a backwards way to look at it. And so as you think about you, whatever dream that you have, like whatever that means to you, I think it's really important for you to, like I said, consider the zigzag that's going to happen and just have that expectation so that you're not disappointed on the way. Bad things are gonna happen. Things aren't gonna go your way and you need to know that. So that's number one. Number two is you can't chase your dreams alone. So it's doing it with other people and making sure that the people that you surround yourself with share the same core values that you share uh, with you and your family. And so the third and the final thing I think is, is, is to make sure <clears throat> that you have a relentless attitude, a re a, a, an effort and a belief toward that, like you're committed to it, right? You know, dreams are just, you know, kind of floating out there in space until they become a goal. And what a goal really is, is something that you write down on paper, right? And then once you write it down on paper, then you reverse engineer that goal that you write down on paper for the year into a schedule that every single day, throughout every single week, you are making incremental steps to get to it, right? And the zigzag is not only there, but you're gonna make small steps toward your goal, even temporarily, if in the moment sometimes it feels like it's in the wrong direction. So chasing your dreams is stressful, right? That's why people can have a big game and talk one, but then when it comes to actually doing it, oftentimes there's a gap there. And the gap is you know, not having the expectations of how difficult it actually is to go out and to create, take an idea, a concept, and then turn that into something that is actually servicing people and uh, servicing team members and adding value to the community. Starting a business is a really, really hard thing to do and that's ex exactly why I think you should do it. Because it's the hard things in life, all right, that are gonna make your life easier. When you, voluntary, when you voluntarily do the hard things, life gets easier. If you voluntarily try to do the easy things, well then life is going to be really hard. So the bigger your dreams, the better, the more crazy they seem, the better, right? And then your job then is to surround yourself with people that believe in you, believe in your dreams, believe in your mission, the same way my Utah team believes in myself and, and Bryce, our VP of HQ Gyms, and the mission and the vision that we have, all right? And so I just wanted to come at, this is like no script here, I'm just coming off the top of my head because I was, I felt the calling as I was walking into this gym. This is the second one in South Jordan that we opened after Orem, but the first one of the, like, the five unit development that we brought here in um, early 2020. So I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope this gave you a little bit, a little nugget, something for you to chew on. And you know, I don't know if you see this thing standing up here behind me, but uh, yeah, coming soon.